I'm going to show you four ways how you can turn off or restart any of the iPhone 13s, okay? Very simple. So the first way is simply holding two buttons, the volume up button and the power button. Press and hold buttons at the same time. Just keep holding until the power off menu here appears and we can slide that all the way to the right to turn off, okay? Now, take note that if you just press volume up and power, if you just press and let go, it's going to take a screenshot. So you have to press and hold volume up power press and hold and just wait until the power off menu appears okay now the second way to do it is you can go um, volume down now instead of volume up volume down power okay you can volume down power press and hold and again just keep on holding until the power off menu appears here now another way that you can um, turn it off is just go directly to your settings and then from your settings just go to general and then scroll all the way up at the very bottom here it says shut down okay tap on that and you can go ahead and shut down from there okay now I'm going to show you how to restart it okay now this is a forced restart you typically want to do the uh, forced restart is for example uh, there's something wrong with your phone maybe the phone is frozen or something like that and you can't bring up this the uh, you can't shut down the traditional way or maybe you can bring this up but it doesn't slide maybe the screens frozen or whatnot anyway very simple it's a three key combination what you have to do is press the volume up, volume down, and then press and hold this power button and do not let go until you see the Apple logo. So we'll do it together. We'll go ahead and restart it. Okay, ready? Volume up. Wait, ready? Go. Volume up, volume down, press and hold that power button and do not let go. Just continue to hold. Keep on holding. Keep on holding until we see the uh, Apple logo. So it should turn off. Give it one second. Okay, so it's turned off. I'm still holding onto the power button. And then give it one second and the Apple logo should pop up. Now you can go ahead and let go and you just force it to restart. Pretty simple. Any questions or issues, just uh, comment below. All right. Good luck.